Mm hmm. I bet with this, uh, you know, with this episode, yeah. Y'all got that right. <laughs> but first, uh, if you want to see what I, uh, what I got here, you know, if you want to see it, heck, some of y'all probably want to drool all over it. Here's what you got to do. First, you got to hit that subscribe button. And, uh, and then you also got to hit that thumbs up. And also got to ring that notification bell. All right. Now, please do all that, you know, and before y'all go drooling all over the, uh, all over the, your screen here, whoever you're watching this, all right? All right. Now, let's get started. Okay, this looks huh, pretty delicious, you know, for not bad for an appetite. And hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Robbie P2 here. And as always, you know what to do. You see the hashtag Robbie P2 family. When everybody, please, y'all you know, comment that down below. At first, welcome to another awesome episode of uh, hashtag Mukbang Monday. And uh, yeah, you know, just judge by the menu and all that. We're back at, I guess, uh, Oh, wait. We're back at, I guess, uh, everybody's favorite neighborhood grilling bar chain. That is, <coughs> that being, you know, the one with a big apple in it. Or, those who can't tell, Applebee's. And, you know, I figured I got a Applebee's gift card, you know, we gotta spend. Because I guess some fan who wants to remain anonymous... Said he likes seeing this content. He wants to see us on the channel. So, yep, we will. We'll definitely do that. Thank you, whoever you are. And, of course, hey, he recommended for an appetizer that I try the... Ah, uh, what you see here. This is the spinach artichoke dip. And uh, so what this comes with here, of course, you get the fresh made-in-house tortilla chips. And I think that is... And pardon me looking at the menu here. Of course, yep, get the get the hot dip. Yeah, it's hot. Fresh sliced uh, artichokes inside the creamy queso with the cool cilantro lime made in house salsa. And uh, so this is a or it's a pretty popular appetizer. And you know what? I feel like it also came in time here. I don't know if your Applebee's in your area does this, but yeah, I think between like certain hours of day, mine. Does like half price apps from like three to six and then nine to close. So I figured it's usually like ten ninety nine for the price, but this is really delicious. You know, when you get this for like five bucks. Now let's try let's try this here. We've got the spinach and artichoke dip here. It's nice. Definitely like that smell and all that fresh spinach, the creamy queso. Mm -hmm. I'm in heaven here, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, I mean, it's nice and thick. Mm hmm. And we'll do it like this here. Try, try and do this a little clean. Uh -huh. See? Uh -huh. And uh, chips themselves. The white corn tortilla chips. Nice, crunchy, perfect amount of salt. Not too salty. And the cool uh, fresh made salsa with the lime and tomatoes, pico de gallo. Hmm. 
I'm digging that as well. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm just going to try. Try these sauces together. Mm-hmm. And all that. Mm-hmm. See? Definitely like the spinach artichoke dip. Definitely like the salsa. I like the chips as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not bad, so I mean nothing to necessarily to write home about. But you know, for for this being the start, it's a great way to start. I think I give this like a nine and a half out of ten. So and uh, let's see here. Maybe if they just uh, had like a fresh slice of lime, or we could garnish this with for added flavor, that'd be awesome. Mm-hmm. But still, good job, Applebee's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And of course, you know, this is more mukbang, you know, where we still eat, but you know, we combine. Mukbang a review here. All right. <laughs> I'll go enjoy this. Uh. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Definitely taste the cilantro in that in that salsa. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And to drink, you know, for all this here, we're going to feature their strawberry iced tea. I mean, the sweet iced tea with strawberry flavoring. Which, uh, yep, it's their, it's a fresh brewed sweet iced tea, strawberry flavoring syrup as well. Yeah. Tastes pretty good. And, uh. I think I'll give this like a nine and a half, just like I gave their uh, the tea I featured in the, my in my previous summer, Applebee's mukbang. Uh, I think the only thing, just a little feedback here, if Applebee's is watching this, the only thing I think they could do to make their teas like a perfect ten is to you know replace the flavoring syrups with some real fruit. And I think, let's see, actually, I think it was the lemonade I had the last time here. But same feedback for that here. But now I've got that out of the way. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hopefully we can you now sit back and enjoy the delicious food content. That y'all know and love. Matter of fact. Hmm. Matter of fact, I'll tell you what, you guys. What do you like to see more of on my on my channel here? Or just a little feedback. What do you like the most on my channel here? Um, do you like the fact that we're going back to like you know filming at the restaurants? Or do you think you know we should uh, you know do you know do reviews like at home or at an unknown location with a background? <laughs> Something like that, because I know I've seen. I mean, I'm happy to see other food vloggers doing 
I'm kind of taking this as well. Hey, that's cool. So. Uh, Mm-hmm. 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 And uh, for my international viewers, hey, what do you guys think as well here? Mm-hmm. For this, you know, do you want to see more? Now, sit down restaurants or more fast food, or do you want to see more local restaurants to my home area? Which is something I kind of need to get back into as well. So, mm-hmm. but hey, you know, as long as we're just enjoying this first course. Uh. <clears throat> And for those who don't know, Applebee's is technically is uh, I think it's been been around for quite a while. Been around for the seventies. Matter of fact, I've read that they're um, and get this here. The company's full name. I mean, the restaurant's full name originally went by. TJ Applebee's Edibles and Elixirs. And it was originally started as a, like just a neighborhood bar uh, for social gatherings. Mm-hmm. And it was just main, mainly for like a place for people to like. You know, come have a drink, share an appetizer, and so forth. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then and now compared to today, Applebee's is definitely grown into more. Of a standard, like American, casual, well, and I'll sit down in a restaurant that serves, well, a little bit of everything you can think of. So, I mean, it's got a little bit here. I mean, I think this kind of has some, like, this uh, entree, I mean, not the entree here. The appetizer here has a little bit of, like, like a little Mexican inspiration here with the chips and salsa. But they also have like typical bar food. Mm-hmm. And also, so it's basically, I'd say, mm, judging by the menu here, almost a little bit of everything under the sun. Or is it uh, comfort food? There you go. That's a good term for it. Comfort food. Uh-huh. See? <laughs> and, of course, you'll see... Now, I know the last time here, I showed the whole lot of bacon burger. And if you haven't tried that, definitely get it. So, I know burgers are one thing that Applebee's can kind of be known for. And also... <laughs> and um, and I think for my main course, when that comes up, I'll also show you something here. That uh, when I say Applebee's is a little bit of every type of cuisine out there. You'll probably see why. I mean, in the previous review, you saw a burger, but also on the menu, you see a few other things, like, you know, steak, a little bit of steaks, some chicken, some seafood. Uh And, uh, 
you know, it's like something for the whole family, which is great. <laughs> and uh, let's say, uh, for those of you who saw my review at a competitor with Chili's, Chili's follows the same format. <laughs> All right. <laughs> mm. However, go see where Applebee stands out. <laughs> so, and so it could be like you know American, Mexican, Italian, whatever it is, whatever you call it. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I figured, you know, almost done with the appetizer. So I guess when we're, when we finish all the, uh, all the dip, we'll, uh, I'll stop and then pick up when the main course comes. Okay, so far, Everything turning out okay so far? Perfect. Mm -hmm. huh? uh, and just for those who are going to ask, yep. Needless to also say, and I know you probably can't hear this, to this Applebee's, two thumbs up for the surface as well. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think right now that concludes the uh, well, the first um, the uh, first course. So, so if you want to see the second course, stay tuned. A little pasta italiano. From Applebee's, no. eating good in the neighborhood. <laughs> all right. Well, you just saw right there, you know, what I meant by Applebee's offering a little bit of everything here. So, and you know, just by a little surprise here, they also got pastas, and you know, I love pasta. And I guess that uh, person who sent me that gift card who wished to remain anonymous again, thank you for, thank you for being a fan. Also recommended, I try their blackened shrimp pasta. They also, if uh, shrimp's not your thing, they also have a, like a blackened uh, chip, like a classic uh, blackened chicken and broccoli. But we went with that. Shrimp's like a little bit more, but hey. You know what? Let's let's dissect this a little bit. So, uh, <laughs> what you got here? Got some uh, blackened shrimp that has been, you know, boiled and peeled, deveined and boiled with some uh, fresh uh, 
no, green broccoli and some fettuccine pasta. And uh, their fresh made, uh, fresh made uh, Alfredo sauce. And garnished with uh, some Parmesan cheese, which uh, the only downside is, yeah, it would be nice if they could bring some Parmesan you know, garnish right in front here. But hey, you know, this is Applebee's. So. But I tell you, yeah, this looks like something you'd probably find more at Olive Garden. But hey, and of course... You know, you get a, you also get a freshly baked uh, breadstick with a buttery topping here. All right, take a look at it. So when the moon hits your eye, or uh, when the stars just start to drool, oh, I mean, or when the stars make you drool just like a pasta fazool. Get the more. And you know what now? Let's let's start. Alright. Now. It's a get a good bite here. We got the long, of course, fettuccine noodles. Definitely look al dente. Which of course uh, for Applebee's, if they don't know what a al dente means, that means they're nice, limber, flowing, all that cooked well. All right, let's try and bite with a shrimp. And you know what? Also, hey. And what we do with the breadstick is this right here. Try to keep it on the fork. And maybe a piece of shrimp would help as well. Hmm. Now let's... Uh, Let's take a taste here. Mm. Don't let it look like a good bite. Mm. 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 It's not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try the shrimp itself, though. You know, as I once said, shrimp is the food of the sea. You can bo you can barbecue it, boil it, broil it, bake it, saute it, and a whole lot of other stuff. <laughs> mm. I like it. Pretty simple. Pretty simple dish, you know. Excellent. <laughs> Mm. Mm. And the breadstick. <laughs> Not bad. I mean, breadstick is, oh. To me, it's like your, just your standard breadstick. I don't came pre made. Reheated with a buttery gar with a buttery like garlic topping, but and at least it's not stale, so and it's not gonna not gonna let us down here. So all together I'd say not bad. Not like the best. But you know, I like it. So, <laughs> hmm. Mm. I mean, for what it is, you know, <clears throat> I'm gonna give this a perfect ten. Now, definitely like that, that black and shrimp on this here. Definitely get an excellent flavor to it, and. uh <laughs> I mean, how it takes, uh, otherwise, you know, Italian cuisine makes it 
a little more Americanized. And again, comfort food. So, and, you know, to drink again, strawberry tea. And hey, you know what? That's something I didn't didn't have uh, earlier, but hey, upon the refill. Now, when I said uh, that maybe a little inclusion of fresh fru fruit to make that tea, to make their fruit-flavored teas a perfect 10 out of 10, I forgot to ask for a lemon. I should have done that. Thank you, Applebee's. Now let's squeeze the lemon in. And you know what, also? Let's, uh... Now, we've still got a little bit of lemon here. Oh. Oh, well. Nice, juicy lemon. And... So that tea, I'll give them benefit of the doubt, 10 out of 10. So, so change the score for the tea. It's still just a little feedback, be nice, you know, to you know, replace some syrups with fresh made fruits. I mean, come on, Applebee's, obviously, you got the money to do that. You got the means to, you know, try and invest like that. You know, that'd be, I'll just, you know, boost that score. All right, yeah. Back to the pasta. <laughs> and so we get this back a little further so you can see. <laughs> and we do this again, folks. And uh, this is why I provide a breadstick, you know. And if, of course, I don't provide a breadstick, you also have a, like a steak knife or a spoon. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Um. There we go. Um. Go. Like I say, is hey, you know, <clears throat> hope everybody, you know, after you're seeing this, you know, you'll run to your uh, local Applebee's and try to order this here. Other than, I mean, think the other last times I've had Applebee's on my channel, there was a pandemic going on and all had to be done at home. Mm -hmm. So this, this is, if I just have my honest opinion, <coughs> this is personally where I, the way I like to do my. You know, do my vlogs and all that. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know, it's been in public, but you know, we're still trying to, you know, do what I can to, you know, show you the food and all that. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
<laughs> and who knows, maybe next time we come feature Applebee's on the channel, we'll, we'll show the uh, chicken version of this as well. Or maybe we'll see other foods, steaks, you know, chicken. Mm -hmm. Maybe a burger again. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows? I mean, I figured, hey, next week, stay tuned here, because next week we're going to be doing you know, something for National Burger Day, which, of course, is on the 28th. So let me know your comments and like and what you think here. And I think I'll have a community. I think I'll have a community tab poll of what you'd you know for you guys to you know vote what you'd really like to see on the twenty eighth. Now I already got one premiere scheduled, but you know I also want to get you guys and get you know some viewer input here because uh, I think. Uh, I don't know, if I look on the Applebee's menu for burgers, I think I see a outstanding uh, candidate for National Burger Day, which is normally also hashtag Taco Tuesday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So... Maybe stay tuned for that community tab poll. And uh, I guess the one that wins, that gets highest votes, will be featured on National Burger Day. And and the one that gets the, the least will be... Uh, <coughs> will be, you know, featured another day. <laughs> so, and of course, it will be pre recorded as well. Oh, so. uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But right now, as so we focus on finishing this pasta, I'll tell you what, it is a little outstanding. I definitely like the char on the on the shrimp and how it blends in with everything else. And it's probably not a whole lot of uh, probably not a whole lot of uh, the restaurants that offer something like it. Uh, this does get a ten out of ten, you know, considering, you know, for you know, for being. Uh, casual American comfort food, bar food, anything like that. Now, I mean, yeah, personally, nothing against them. I would have thought it'd be a nicer touch to have some, like, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, have a server, like, great in front of you. But, hey, you know, that's, apple, like, talking Applebee's here. Not uh, not a place like, say, uh, Olive Garden. Mm-hmm. Uh mm-hmm. -huh. Uh -huh. But, you know, I still like that Alfredo sauce as well. <laughs> and definitely with like the little, uh, little broccoli inside here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It's a classic. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, the uh, breadstick. Not a really good review, it. You know, it's um, <coughs> it's, just, it's just there, but hey, it's pretty, pretty good for what it is. I mean, I'm saying yeah. 
I mean, it's obviously just reheated because, hey, you know, like considering Applebee's here, they don't have anything else on their menu that is, like, made of the, you know, same dough or something like that. So, I mean, what else would they have? Uh, the little pizzas on the kids' menu? <laughs> so, <laughs> 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 But, you know, I mean, this is just, you know, this is not bad. So, <laughs> so, but, hey, you know, man, maybe a little bit of a letdown, but I ain't going to stop the show. <laughs> 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 and hey, I just find in here. Wasn't expecting this, but nothing to worry about. That's a little, little piece of penne. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> and all that here. So still pretty good. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I figured one penne noodle, hey, you know, for the penne Alfredo as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now we just finish up the sauce, which is another reason why they you know, still give us a breadstick. Mm hmm. I think. <coughs> Excuse me, though. <clears throat> Just run down here considering Applebee's, you know. I figured they deserve a little more credit than they have been getting lately, so hey, this is a 10 out of 10. Alright. <coughs> so definitely I love the main course. The appetizer was good. The tea's pretty good too. <laughs> So please let me know your favorite part in the comments down below, along with hashtag p 2 family And also, hey, if you're brand new to my channel, please hit the big subscribe button down below. And then let's uh, ring the notification bell. Choose all notifications. Also, don't forget, everybody, smash that thumbs up, especially if you want to see more content like this. And, you know, want to slay them YouTube algorithms so that this video stays on top. And then also, please, feel free to hit that share button so you can share this out. We want to get to 50,000 subscribers very soon, like maybe by end of June. That'd be awesome. And also, uh, if there's something that you, the viewers, would like to see and featured on my channel, best way you can submit those requests is uh, if you open up the description, see three ways you can reach out to me directly. There's an email address there. There's also there's also me on uh, my Instagram and uh, X. You know the the one formerly known as Twitter. All right, go and use those. And also, if you guys want to do help the channel grow in other ways, you can either feel free to hit up the Robbie P2 fan shop so you can get some awesome merch like the hat that I'm wearing here with the hashtag Robbie P2 family with the play button. 
Or you can also request a personalized shout out for me on Cameo, any occasion, pretty much. Or you can also either, you know, go to the About tab, you can donate, PayPal, Venmo, or you can also just hit the Super Thanks down below the screen. Whatever, whatever you choose, you know, it's all appreciated here. Thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Applebee's, again, you know, for the wonderful service. Let me do the review as well. And, Hank, maybe I should give thanks to all the other restaurants as well here. So, all right. And, hey, you know, we've always eaten good in the neighborhood. Let's get more of that going around here. All right. And then thank you all, the viewers, again, so much for watching here and supporting. And uh, I, I just remember here, always stay happy, stay safe. Stay positive, and we love y'all. Your boy, Robbie P2, out.